Okay, so today we're gonna talk about a, our travel rock brand. Okay, this is not a new travel rock brand. Okay, it's a travel rock brand that we have been working with for many many years. And one of the uh, special thing about this rock brand is that um, this rock brand uh, has many 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 travel rocks. Okay, when I say many 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 travel rocks, is like they do micro game, they do like fun fishing, they do like telescopic, they do like expedition, they do like uh, super strong rods. They do like uh, super good casting rods, super long rods, super short rod, uh, BFS, uh, many, 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 many. Okay, so basically the rod brand is Hueco. Okay, why today we talk about Hueco? Okay, let me get a Hueco rod first. Okay, so there's a there's a reason why I want to talk about Hueco today. It's because I received many inquiries and y'all have been asking me about like uh, which travel rod should I buy and everything so I thought I should just uh, roughly give you an explanation okay so basically this is Hueco okay so uh, let me show you the logo of Hueco okay uh, wait, wait, where's the logo ah uh, here, here you see ah Hueco okay so m all the Hueco rods design right is very uniform uniform meaning that right uh, Hueco is always a red and uh, black design Okay, so all the, I think all the rods lah, yeah, all the rods of Hueco is uh, made of cork. Okay, so you have a cork finishing here. Um, Hueco has many, many, many rods. Okay, so if you are looking for a rod ranging from like hundred over dollars, which is the telescopic model, but the thing is we don't have stock for telescopic model now. We only have last piece of an eight feet telescopic model. Okay, so I'm gonna do one by one because the good thing is we have a lot of demo rods for Hueco in shop. So if you like to come and take a look, feel the rod, touch the rod, uh, Hueco is a very, very good brand that you can actually take reference to because you can come down, feel the rod, and see whether it is suitable for you or not. Okay, I'm going to show you the the telescopic model first, okay? Because this is the last piece in shop that is available for sale. Uh, the 6 feet, 7 feet is already sold out, okay? Uh, the stock is not here yet, so you got to wait a while. If you're interested, you got to drop me a, a message. Let me know that you're interested. Okay, so let me keep this part first. This is actually to protect the rod tip, okay? Keep in, keep in pocket. <laughs> okay. So what is telescopic rod? Okay, so let me explain to you first. If you if you realize I can actually keep the rod, okay? If you do prawning or you watch my prawning video, right? actually they are the same. Telescopic rod is like prawning video is a prawning rod, they are the same, you know, it's like they can keep, keep, keep. Okay, this one is to push up. And ta -da, ta -da. So this is the Hueco. It must block my eye again. This is the Hueco telescopic rod. Okay, so basically you can just put this in the pocket. Then when you want to go fishing, right, what you do? Okay, you start pulling it out. Okay, so you have to pull the tip first. Okay, normally you pull the tip first. So the, the good thing is, right, when you, you pull the tip, then you got to align. So the thing about telescopic rod, the troublesome thing is you got to align, 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 align. ta -da! Put your reel and then you cast, pssst. Go to the beach, put there, beach fishing, passive respawn, anything that you can think of. Lah. Okay, so anyway, I just want to show you a unique point. Anyway, this is at the price range of about uh, 100 over dollars. I think 188 for the shorter ones. Then the longer ones, I think it's about 218 or something, which is, this is the longest. I think 8 feet is the longest. Okay, the thing about the Hueco Telescopic Raw, right, is that this is a little bit special. Okay, so why do I say it's special? Okay, let me just give you a rough explanation. So, okay, let me see. Okay, I got it. Okay. So you see that this is the tip of the rod. If you if you look at me bending the rod, right, you see that the rod actually bends a little bit only. When I bend here, doesn't really bend much, one. You see, even when I try to bend, it doesn't bend much. Hueco uh, rods, right, are more of a fast action telescopic rod, which is uh, a little bit uncommon in the market. So in the market in telescopic, you will find a lot of filmsy filmsy rods, uh, a lot of rods that is like um. How do I say? Like, like maybe a little bit softer, uh, bend a bit more. You hardly find telescopic rods that is, uh, that is like fast action or or, or stiffer, uh, kind of design. So this is the this is the thing why they sell very fast. It's because uh, the the action is something that you can actually use for luring, and the action is something that people like more. I would say that sens sensitivity. 
and casting compared to a softer rod i think i will to me lah for me personal preference i will prefer a fast action rod okay i prefer a fast action rod okay so i'm gonna put this back so this is how you're gonna keep okay so it actually comes with this thing a okay. cap so this is a spinning rod okay so telescopic there's no big casting okay so i'm gonna put this back okay so another thing is just now when i told you right uh Hueco comes with many many models okay and i want to show you some of their models this is the 610 xt 4c casting okay okay see this is the logo 610 4c casting you can see you know ah here here sorry sorry oh yeah very hard to see uh, very small uh. but anyway let me read it out for you lah uh. 610 610 4c 4c as in four piece casting six feet ten uh 60 pound max 70 gram casting okay so one thing about Hueco rod that I want to share with you is that Hueco come out with the normal models, the normal expedition models first. Mean, meaning that they come out with the 610, 511, 510, uh, 611, 710, 711. Those are their, their primary models. Primary models meaning that they are first edition models. Means when the brand started, these are the first few models they come out. One unique point about Hueco rods is that Hueco rods are all travel rods. Yeah, all travel rods. So far, what we what we see all travel rods. They do some pole rods lah. So I also categorize pole rods as travel rods. So for travel rods, ah, okay, so this this is this is like how long it is. Okay, so I just want to show you. Okay, so the thing about the unique point about Hueco travel rod, right, I can tell you that Hueco travel rod is not the strongest or it's not the, the kind of rod that you take and then you go and pull the fish, pull very hard, zang the fish, uh, heavy cover. It's not, okay? Hueco Travel Rod right, is more for good casting performance. So if you're, if you're looking for easy casting, like, like use uh, light strength, good swing, good bend, Hueco Travel Rod is more in that direction. So if today right, you are a, a newbie or an angler that really like to use very little strength to cast very far, you are not that kind that want to whack, uh, whack, uh, whack, uh, you know, you just want to do a good swing and your, your lures will fly, phoom, your baits will fly. I will tell you that Hueco will give you the best experience because Hueco really focus a lot on their casting, okay? So, um, this is this is the normal expedition model 610, okay? So, what I want to share with you is that after that, right, Hueco start to innovate and then they start to make stronger rods because they realize that in some places, right, in some market, especially maybe in our area, we have like giant snake head or even overseas, they have black bars, all these things. So Hueco start to innovate and make stronger rods. So Hueco start to come up with model like the plus model. So the 510, 610, uh, 710, 711, they will have a plus model. So if you're looking for the normal model, it will be called 610. If you're looking for the stronger model, it's called 610 plus. Okay, I repeat myself. Uh. The normal model will be called 610. The stronger model is called 610 plus. So you can come down and feel the difference. The plus, basically, you have a stronger tip. So this is a 610. You can see the 610 do a good bend. So the 610 plus, right, the blank will actually be thicker and the tip is actually stiffer. Okay, so that's one thing about the, the Hueco. Okay, then later on, um, Hueco came up with the micro game. Okay, so the micro game right, is a very popular model in Japan. Okay, so I think I, I, I really cannot tell you um, because I know that the Aji Aji people, the Ajing Ajing people, they have their own preference. They they a different way of Ajing, I would say. So this one is designed more for the Japan uh, micro game. Okay, Japan micro game, what they do, they do the Mebara, Mebara, all these things, the small rock fish and all these things. So they are more, um, they, they also have different school. La. I, I know the pure Ajing. Maybe you don't, I wouldn't say that this is a pure Ajing rock. I would say that this is a micro game rock, okay? So it's a little bit different. So this is a micro game travel rock, okay? So this is how short the rock is, okay? Okay, I, I, I ever, if you go through my videos, I ever fight, uh, I mean, I not purposely, la. I mean, I wanted to catch a small fish, but I caught a big button on this rod. It took me very, very long to fight this rod and I have no problem, you know, just take your time. I, 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 I fight the button and I landed the button. The micro game comes in 6 feet, 7 feet, 8 feet. Okay, one thing about the micro game is that the rod is very, very soft. Okay, the rod is very, very soft. 
So, uh, this one you have to know most of the time people play with small lures, small spoons, uh, small jig heads with rubbers and all those things. So, this is a spinning rod, okay. So, this one is also a very suit for model because, uh, if I'm not wrong, I heard from Japan is that uh, this model also always sold out. So, uh, now we have sample in the in the shop that you can kind of touch it. This is a six feet model. Okay, then uh, one last model that I would like to talk about, which is actually one of the more popular model. If you look into the my YouTube playlist, there's this video under Hueco Fun Fishing Rod. Okay, so why why do I want to talk about this Hueco Fun Fishing Rod? It's because this rod is, uh, I would say the pricing is very comfortable for many people is priced at about 288 dollars for the five feet model and the rod is really really short okay this is how short the rod is actually in the last unboxing video i also talked about this rod okay so the stock is here again the fun fishing spinning fun fishing uh, bait cast five feet and six feet all here these are very short rods that you do uh, your light luring as well as your pond fishing this is not rods that you go and zang zang zang. Don't everything you think of must go and pull and pull the big fish. Okay. So anyway, the the six feet model I caught a chopraya around I think five six kilos on it on one of the videos. So you can go and check it out. I think it's the bread day video when we went to test the rod. Then we were just trying to catch small patin and then unknowingly the chopraya catfish, the big chopraya catfish went to take the patin's bread. So uh, this rod right is uh. The is like a fiberglass rod. Okay, so when, when I say fiberglass rod, I mean I don't want to be so technical, but I just share with you is that this rod bends a lot and is harder to break compared to a carbon rod. Okay, so a carbon rod is more brittle, uh, stiffer, uh, action maybe a little a little bit faster. This one is more of a regular action. Okay, so you can see that okay, the five feet model is the most popular model. So the five feet casting model is the most popular model, which is this one you can see that if i were to really bend it the rod can really really bend okay i will tell you that it will really really bend i'm not that kind of people that like to go and touch the rod and then bend the rod like. i mean you don't come to my shop and do that also i'm just trying to show you the action because this rod right is you you were it's very flip flippy and like how to say uh, it's it's a like a like a rubber band kind of feeling like small lures, big lures, you just flick, 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 it will just fly. It's that kind of feeling. So people like that kind of uh, rod. And and when you really fight a fish, right, this rod can really bend. So you really enjoy the fight, the slowly fight one. That's why I say these kind of rods are not for you to go, whoa, zang, zang, you know, that kind of thing. So this is a highly sold for model and it's back in stock for 2021. Uh, if you watch some of my videos, we actually use this while salt water fishing. We will be using this more for our saltwater fishing because the last time it was sold out and even the demo set, right, the customer bought it. So we didn't have any piece to fish with. So since the stock is here, we will fish with it again. So um, it comes in big cast and spinning model. So that's the good thing. So if you are someone uh, that is doing spinning, you can look at the 5 feet and 6 feet model. So um, that's it for Hueco. This basically, we, we want to just explain to you the, the most popular uh, models in the in our Hueco range because there's so many okay there's there's still some uh, we still have some uh, 5 10 plus that actually we use for bottom then we have the 6 I think the 605 6 feet for uh, heavy cover so they, they do have rods that is that kind of strong and, and I see whether I have it here or not okay they do have that kind of strong rods but um, most of their rods are not that kind of rod so only a few rods in it is in that kind of strategy uh, that kind of uh, range okay okay this is the one okay so if you're looking at hueco the very very strong one this is the very very strong one is a 605 40 the rating is uh 60 pound casting 200 grams okay so it's a double hander okay six feet rod okay let me show you the band this is the this is the band it doesn't, it doesn't really bend much. So Hueco also have a very strong model, just that um, most of their models are not in this idea. They are more for the 
good casting, good band kind of rocks, you know. But they do have a big range. That's what I'm trying to tell you. They do have a big range. So you can actually head down to shop. Uh, we open by appointment. So just uh, WhatsApp us. Or you can check out our website for the price range. Then you see which is within your budget. Then you can drop me a message. Then we can actually explain to you more and share with you more. Uh, some of your Waco rocks have to be pre-ordered, meaning that uh, if you want that model, then we will just get Japan to send it to us within like maybe one to two weeks, you will get your rods. Okay, so uh, that's it for today's video. Uh, you want to find out more for Hueco rods, you can go to our website and uh, hit the like button, subscribe button. I see you in the next episode. Uh, you can drop your comments below and let me know what you're interested to to for us to show you or for us to talk about whether is it tutorial like like what we did like talk about prawning rods, talk about uh, how to tie a prawning rig and whatsoever. So that's it. See you and subscribe. Subscribe. Bye bye.